We all love drawing and painting animals from life, but the problem is they don't hold still if you want to get them to pose. So what's the best way to do a painting like this without resorting to photography? On this video, I want to show you seven tips that you can use to paint animals from life. The first idea is to work from taxidermy. Okay, it's not working from life, but if an animal is stuffed, it'll hold still for you, and you're working directly from the three-dimensional form, so you can really study it. With this taxidermy wolf, we borrowed it from the guy who did the, the work on it and set it up in an art studio in Wyoming. This painting is done in gouache, and I did a casein underpainting and then paint it over in gouache. The nice thing about the gouache or opaque watercolor is that I could dissolve the texture to get a soft look. The whole painting took about an hour. Now another idea is to find an animal that's sleeping. If an animal uh, like a dog is sleeping, they'll usually hold still for about uh, 15 minutes. If you're not familiar with the dog, it often helps, like this basset hound, to take him for a walk first so he gets comfortable with you. I did this painting of a husky who was sleeping on my floor and uh, I went straight for the background and then used watercolor to paint in the background color and dry brush to get the fur texture. I knew that he wouldn't stay there very long so I tried to work as fast as I could. Now you can also have someone hold an animal for you. This works especially well for horses. I painted some of these draft horses by having the farmer hold them. But we also got some 4-H kids to hold a miniature horse uh, and brush her, and so she really liked the attention, so she held still for a good long time. Now they'll shift their weight as they're holding still, um, but at least you can get uh, some of the same poses, the same angles that, you, uh, that won't change too much. Now, another thing, if a horse or any other animal is moving around and circulating, you can pick a profile pose, which is easier to paint than a, a specific diagonal pose. Like this Palomino horse uh, was facing right for a good part of the time while it was sort of taking a snooze during the day. And it did switch to face the other direction, but it wasn't that hard to kind of flop the pose. Now, if you have a treat, that often can be a big help uh, sometimes I can get a donkey to hold still if I hold out a treat uh, and they'll come right up to the edge of the stall. This is a donkey named Jezebel who will often come over if she knows uh, that I'm rattling the, the bin that holds her treats. That may only occupy their attention for a while and you kind of have to dole the treats out slowly, um, but at least it keeps them facing towards you and in a fairly animated position. This is done in watercolor, and I did some of the finishing touches in fountain pen and uh, watercolor pencil to get the delicate lines of the, of the whiskers. Now, if you have one animal that's moving around a lot, you can start multiple poses. So I call this one multiples. And uh, for this one of uh, this sleeping husky, I knew he'd probably move around a, a bit, so I just started a bunch of small sketches. But also, if you have uh, a number of similar animals that are moving around, like r rabbits or chickens, uh, you can start a pose knowing that at least one of the group of similar looking animals will be in the pose that you want. Uh, that really works well for these kind of animals that move a lot. And finally, if you can amuse the animal somehow, uh, get it to be interested in something, you can get their attention. We're babysitting my son's husky shepherd mix named Smooth, and I've noticed he likes to sit in the window back there watching squirrels. So I'm going to try to do a painting in the book here using casein. The reason I like casein for a real active pose like this is that if he moves, into another pose, I can paint over it in opaques and I'm not stuck with one pose uh, the way it would be if I was working in watercolor. So hopefully uh, he'll sort of go back to the same pose.
So there's seven tips you can try. There's taxidermy, you can get them sleeping, get somebody to hold them, paint them in profile, give them a treat, uh, do multiple sketches, or find something that will amuse them that will get them to hold still. And don't forget to subscribe and I've got my website there and here's a list of gouache paintings and then here's a list, a uh, playlist of other, uh, other kinds of casein paintings. All right? <laughs>